What's going on guys and welcome back to another Destiny video today. Bungie actually just released to us some really 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 great information about the future of Destiny, you know some future updates and its sequel. Now this was really huge, I just read this post this morning and you know it's basically what we're going to be talking about today, it's, it's not that much about Destiny 2, it's more about the March update. Now the March update is going to be called the Age of Triumph. And I'm sure you've read this blog post. It was really huge. Um, it was gonna, announced and we all knew it was coming. But, you know, I'm going to be going over reasons why I think old raids are returning in March. It's pretty obvious, but I'm going to be showing you guys a few things that I think you might have missed and my opinion on why this is happening. Okay, so stick around and there's probably a few things that you might have missed from this blog post some just hints about what you're gonna see in the March update now start off okay um I actually was just taking my some screenshots for the thumbnail of this video and I noticed this one and this is almost a uh, super confirmed that old raids are returning just with this picture right here now you'll see it's just the image that they added for um, the Age of Triumph in Destiny. And, you know, it's nothing much. I thought, you know, that looks really sweet. And over there on the right, you can see, you know, that's just the Vanguard logo. You know, you got your Hunters, your Warlocks, and your Titans. And then to the left of it, you know, I just noticed a whole bunch of Taken King symbols. I was like, oh, sweet. Then I saw some swords. I was like, oh, wait, like, you know, Crota Zen. And then to the left of that, it's, it's clearly the Vault of Glass. So now we clearly see Atheon, uh, Vault of Glass, Crota's End, and the King's Fall Raid. Th that has to say something. You know, the fact that for the Age of Triumph, you know, for this blog post, they had this image. And it's, there's no coincidence that they just happen to have, like, all three of those raids, like, in the image right there. It's pretty clear that those three raids have something to do with this update. Now, and then underneath, look at that, dragons, okay, dragons, what are they holding up, like, the Traveler or something? Okay, dragons in the March update confirmed, like, no, I'm totally kidding about that. Uh, the dragons probably just make it look cool, you know, but the main highlight um, of this right here is just the image. I overlooked this, you know, I did not recognize that there's, there's three raids right there. And it's, again, this no coincidence, through the three raids, the three previous raids, it's not the Wrath of the Machine. You could say that those little squares represent the Wrath of the Machine, but that's already up to date, you know? So, but those three raids have to do something with this because they wouldn't have just decided to put those in an image, okay? So we know raids have something to do with the Age of Triumph. Now, moving on, okay, the pictures give away a lot. Okay, first off, Wednesday, March 8th, this is when they're going to confirm this. So by the time that March 8th is out, we'll probably know for sure that old raids are returning, unless they somehow aren't, but you can see right here the Vault of Glass entrance. Okay, that's very unique to the Vault of Glass. We don't really see much of that entrance, especially like that, you know, with the with the Minotaur and everything. I, that's pretty, that's the Vault of Glass, and I'm not sure, you know, why they would put that image there. Unless they're just trying to mess with us. But, you know, that says a lot. Okay, so, the Age of Triumph reveal, it's showing off the Vault of Glass. Next up, Weekly Rituals. Okay, now this is interesting. I'm wondering if this is just going to give us new stuff to do every week. Before, you know, the Age, before Destiny 2. But, as you can see right there, there's the normal. There's Crucible, there's the Daily uh, Mission. There's the Weekly Heroics, the Weekly Nightfall. That's Prison of Elders next to it. So, it's, and it's got the little Rise of Iron symbol. So we know uh, it's looking like they're going to also remake Prison of Elders. I'm not sure about, or maybe not remaking it, but just giving us something to do in the Prison of Elders. And then look at that raid. Okay, I'm not sure if this is like a weekly raid. That would be pretty sweet. You know, give people motiv motivation. But... With weekly stuff, there's always some kind of reward, you know, something special saying, hey, if you do this on this week, you'll get something nice. I'm not sure what they're going to give us for doing the weekly raid, but it looks like there's going to be some kind of reward for doing the raid each week. 
And so having raids be put into the weekly rituals like this, it's got to say something else. And Age of Triumph, this whole weekly rituals thing is going to be announced on Wednesday, March 15th. So just a week after the Age of Triumph reveal. So, you know, mark your calendars. I'm, I'm actually looking really excited for this. Now this image right here, this is very interesting. Um, this is the Sandbox update reveal coming on March 22nd. Now look at this, okay. This armor though, uh, this isn't something we've seen before. Like the armor is the first thing that really strikes out. And so one thing about this, well, actually, first, let's talk about the Dreadnought, okay? So, if you look behind him really closely, that's pretty obviously the Dreadnought. Uh, I'm not sure what else it is, and, you know, you could say, what does that have to do with anything? Pretty much, King's Fall Raid, that's what I'm saying. I'm not sure why else they would have him standing in front of the Dreadnought, and also the Dreadnought with all these other pictures talking about, you know, raids. It looks pretty obvious that, you know, King's Fall Raid is returning. Also, just, you know, looking at that armor, it looks pretty dang sweet. Um, this also does say something, new armor is coming with the update. One thing that really caught my attention is his leg right there. Like, it looks so robotic, you know, vex. It looks sweet. And then, you know, his arms with all those spikes look kind of like, you know, the Arkarma's grasps. Like, you know, those look like they could possibly be King's Fall. And then the rest of his armor, it just looks pretty sweet. It does look like old raids have been remastered in a really good way. Like more than just bringing up the light level. More than just giving us the same old armor, just new light levels. This looks like Bungie has actually put time into creating new armor. We're gonna hopefully see new weapons coming from these raids. Now in the end, you know, there's not much I can, there's not much else I have to say about this topic. Um, I just kind of wanted to go over this for you guys and say, you know, the Age of Triumph is going to be sweet. This is something I'm really, really, really looking forward to. You know, if you've seen my Should Bungie Bring Back Old Raids video, you can go check it out because I really go over more of why Bungie should bring back old raids. Bottom line is because they made a lot of content. They spent hours upon hours. They spent lots of time creating those old raids. Like, raids are huge. They're unique to Destiny, and they make up a huge part of the experience. So, but now, players don't play Vault of Glass hardly anymore. Like, I know you probably still do with your friends, and I've still done it, even though it's outdated. And then, Crota's End, th those are good raids. And, you know, King's Fall, people, people loved them. And they were, I'm sure Bungie put plenty, tons of thinking into those raids, and it took lots and lots of work. Lots of investment for them to create these raids. They're really special. Now, surely Bungie is recognizing that nobody plays them anymore. And they can't blame us. It's just because the light level system and how things work. The old raids are outdated. And so if they were to bring them back, it would, it would make so much more content. It would give us so much more to do. It wouldn't require a lot on their part if they were to just bump up the light level. But in the end, like... I seriously think Bungie should want to do that. They'd say, look at all this content I've made. You know, I spent so much time working on you know, the Vault of Glass, and nobody plays it anymore. It's not like they don't like it, it's just that there's no incentive to. Why would you do the Vault of Glass when you could do Wrath of the Machine and get good stuff from it? So, in the end, you know, go check out that video if you want, where I talk about more of just why Bungie should bring back old raids. And I am really excited. I'm almost positive that old raids are returning, you know, with this Vault of Glass picture, the raid symbol, and the new weekly rituals, and then this new armor in front of the Dreadnought. And again, this picture right here almost confirms it. When you're seeing the new Age of Triumph, there's a Vault of Glass, Crota's End, and the King's Fall Raid. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Again, this is totally just kind of speculation. Um, this is just me saying, you know, this is what I saw from the post, and this is why I think old raids are going to return. You know, leave a comment. What do you think? Do you agree with what I said? Do you not agree? And, you know, what are you excited for? If you do think raids are returning, what raids are you excited for? 
Make sure to leave a like on this video so you can help my channel to grow a little more and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Destiny videos in the future. This is Hackman and I will see you guys in the next video.